welcome back to my channel and in today's video we're going to be doing a grind for full graceful so the plan is to do levels 1 to 10 at the gnome stronghold agility course and then we're going to move to the drainer rooftop course and do levels 10 to 20 and then 20 to 30 we're going to do our grid rooftop course and then 30 to 40 we're going to do the rock rooftop course and then from 40 until we get 260 marks of grace, we're going to do the Canifis rooftop course. But we'll have to complete the Priest in Peril quest first. So to get the full graceful set, we need to pick up 260 marks of grace. So we need to go to Berthorpe and go to the Rogue's Den. And then we need to trade it for the full set of graceful. A high agility level means that your run will last longer. And wearing graceful reduces your weight by up to 25 kilograms. So this makes your run reduce slower and it also makes your run energy regenerate 30% faster while wearing the full set. So we're going to be doing this first as we will be doing a lot of running around for quests and the earlier we do this the more we will benefit from it. First of all we're going to stop at the bank and drop off our weapons so we're as light as possible and today we're going to bring Pumpkin with us and off we go. So first of all we're going to be going to the tree gnome stronghold, we're going to pop to this bank and then I'm going to go to the agility course. As we are still at the monastery we're just going to walk straight up and we'll get there in no time. And for example I'm going to turn my run on and look at how quickly it disappears. And luckily we had enough run to get us here but only just. So now that we are here let's see if we can get in. Hi. Okay then. And then in we go. So first off to the bank and then over to the agility course. Now we're at the bank, drop off our stuff and pick up pumpkin. Dropped off our weapons, pick up pumpkin and over to the course we go. We've also got a little bit of food with us just in case we fail the course. And here we are. So I'm just going to do a couple of laps of this and I'll see you when I'm at level 10. And that's one lap of the course. And congratulations, you advanced to an agility level to two. So we're on a roll. Halfway there. Slowly getting there. Are you referring to pumpkin? Final lap. Go, go, go. And level 10. Now we've finished the Gnome Stronghold course. And we've got to level 10. I'm going to move on to the Drainer rooftop course and start collecting some marks of grace. Let's go do that now. We completed level 10 with 14 laps on the agility course. Now we need to go to Drainer Village and go to the Drainer Village rooftop course. And now we're at the Drainer rooftop course and let's start collecting some marks of grace. And here we go. And that's one lap complete. And then we're going to do this to level 20. You can now use the stepping stones in Karanja Dungeon. Yay! And now they've turned red, that means we can get a mark of grace. Our first mark of grace. Yay! And I fell. Again. More cake. And now there's a drunken dwarf on the roof. What do you want? A beer and some kebab. Thank you. And another mark of grace. And we've fallen in the same place again. Let's try again. And another mark of grace, making a total of two. And another mark of grace. Oh, and it's right here this time. Number three. Level 16, I can now use the ML agility shortcut. Oh, and another mark of grace. Total of four. Final lap, and another mark of grace over there. And another mark of grace. So we've got five, three more laps to go. And then we'll move on to the Elkerid rooftop course. Final lap. And there it is, level 20. And now we're going to move on to the Elkerid rooftop course. You can now use the Elkerid course past medium level agility arena, obstacles, and cross the coal truck log balance agility shortcut. So let's go do that. So firstly, we need to go get 10 GP to get through the gate. And then we'll teleport to Longbridge. And then Elkerid rooftop course. 10 coins. Over to Elkerid we go. Through the gate we go and then over to the call. Here we go. 
interesting method. And there we go, one lap is complete. And our first mark of Greece from the Alcarid course. And it's over there. Go get that. And we've got a total of six. You can now use the Grand Exchange Agility shortcut. And another mark of green, total of seven. And you can now use the pipe contortion in Karanju Dungeon. Cool. Wonder if we'll see Rakeen anywhere around here. And another mark of Greece coming up. And a total of eight. And another mark of grace, and another mark of grace, and that's a total of 10. You can now enter the werewolf school ball course and use the cliffside scramble shortcut to go up to equals B. And the first fall on the course, you can now use the Falador agility shortcut. And level 30, you can now use the agility pyramid, the Varak course, the stepping stones in the southeastern Karanja, and the Corsa Cove resource area shortcut. You can also use the penguin agility course if you have begun the Cold War quest. So that means we can go over to the Varak rooftop course for levels 30 to 40, so let's do that now. So now we need to go to Varak and go to the Varak rooftop course. Alright, now we're at the Varak rooftop course, let's do a lap. That's the end of the first lap, so I'll see you again at level 40. Now we've got this new top, we can be disguised from the baby cows. Back to the cow, and look at that, a beginner clue scroll. Talk to the cook in Lumbridge Castle. Time to talk to the cook. Well, I don't think you found a new clue, this one. Now we're going to go tan the cow hide. Money. Now that we've finished selling the cow hide that we've tanned, we've got some more gear. And now we're on our way to finish, hopefully, the last step of the clue and see what we get. Well done. So we get a wizard's hat, a leather cow, and a short bow. I like my new look. Yeah. Room 53. Yep, 28. So final lap. 97. 16. Yay! Level 40. You can now use a cannabis course, pass high level agility arena obstacles, and use the Ascidious Lake Isle Jump Agility Shock. So now we can go to the cannabis rooftop course, but we need to complete the Priest in Peril quest. But Priest in Peril. We can start the quest by speaking to King Rold in Verup palace the quest has no requirement so let's look at the wiki so we need 50 unnoted marine essence or pure essence and a bucket and um, recommends green crossing pouches food teleports and potions so we need to get it up on the quest helper so we need to get some stuff from the grand exchange first and we're gonna get an amulet of power which we've got at least see all those stat boots i gave you then no take off and then I'll just hover your mouse over it. You get uh -huh. plus six attack and defense and everything, rare bonus and strength bonus. So it's, it's really good for how cheap it is. And we've got our armor on. So we need 50 rune essence. And then we just need to get the bucket out of the bank. Thank you. And then, all right, do we need more cakes? So now we need to buy some more cakes, get some teleports, the rune essence. We've got the bucket that it says we need. We've got teleports, we've got food, and we've got our armor on. And of course, the most important thing, pumpkin. Right, so we're going to start the quest by talking to King Rold. So now we need to go to the temple east of Varok by the river and click on the large door. Right, now uh, go through the large door. Well, as I say, the king sent me to make sure everything's okay with you. I'm not sure. Ask you what help you need, I suppose. Sure, I'm a helpful person. Okie dokie, one dead dog coming up. Uh, go down the ladder north of the temple. Yay! There we go, one dead dog. I shall go and tell Drizel. Go back up the ladders. And that's the quest complete. Yay! So we've got a total quest point of five. And we got one quest point, access to Mauritania, 1406 prayer XP, and the wolf bean dagger. Wanna roll already, you can see it. Oh my god, it's a mark of grace. And we've got 50 marks of grace. And that's 130 marks of grace, which means we're halfway and less than 100 to go until we get 260 marks of grace. And we can get the full grace all set. Yay! There it is, 195, three quarters of the way there. On the 500th lap, 197 marks of grace. And there it is. 200 marks of grace and now on to the last grind and we're around 230 marks of grace and we're around about 600 laps and we're at level 56 agility so hoping to get it in 
the next few laps and then we can go get the full set of graceful and there it is exactly 700 laps 260 marks of grace and now that we've got the full graceful set we're done with our graceful grind and for the next episode i'm going to be trying some top money making tips before we start the christmas event for this year if you've made it to the end thanks for watching if you haven't already like and subscribe and see you in the next video